Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. What's wrong with you two? We can't go on our trip. There's a big snowstorm coming, and they think it won't be safe to drive. The weatherman on TV said that it's not safe to travel anywhere. But the storm is also supposed to be really bad. Oh, are you feeling worried about it? Yeah, it's scary. What if our house gets destroyed? I'm so mad at the weatherman. He ruined our trip and scared us. I hate him. That's a hard thing. But it's not his fault, did you know that? But he's the one that told us. That's true, but he isn't in control of the weather. All he can do is tell you what the weather will do. It's up to you what you do once you hear what he says. Yes, you could still go on your trip. But we might get hurt. You know, this reminds me a lot of prophets. How? The prophets aren't the ones who make decisions. They aren't the ones who are in control of things. But it is their job to warn the people of the dangers that may come. They are often shown visions and receive special revelation of what they should teach. There were many prophets, for example, who taught that Jerusalem would be destroyed if the people didn't stop being wicked. But the people, instead of listening to the warnings that God was sending them, got mad at the prophets and wouldn't listen to them, or worse, would imprison, attack, or even kill them. There are three prophets whose writings seem to be a little like the storm warning you've heard. Their names were Nahum, Habakkuk, and Zephaniah. Whoa, what crazy names! These prophets were called, like many others in the Old Testament, to teach about the coming destruction and scary times. I'm sure that those who heard them thought that they were doing nothing but scaring them. But they weren't prophets of doom. They were prophets of deliverance. They were there to help prepare the people for the difficult times, and to urge them to return to Heavenly Father so they could be saved from the coming destruction. And it's important to listen to the prophets in your day too, so that you can be prepared for difficult times. <laughs>